This bittersweet heat is suffocating. I'm waiting and always hesitating. Kryptonite desires set my heart afire. Heart on fire. Set my heart afire. That's that's in me. <laughs> oh, so guess 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 I took the stream over. <laughs> oh man. Okay, bear with us. We're like in for the last hour. We were trying to set this up. Uh, yeah, so Ray no sounds. Ray no sounds. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure. I actually, uh, Ray can talk and I can just repeat it. Uh, wait, hold maybe. on, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I think I've got it working. I think I've got it working. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, good. <Duh. laughs> Right well, uh, I think I think we had so much stress <laughs> in the last hour. <laughs> oh my days, ladies and gents, welcome to the stream. I do apologise uh, about the lateness, and uh, me and Ratko here, we've been trying to sort this stream out for the last probably I would say over an hour, trying to get the webcam working for uh, for Ratko here and um, we finally got it working but there's always things that go wrong <laughs> welcome to live streaming this is the uh, beauty of it Jake 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 Bead thanks for the sponsor dude appreciate it much love to you dude uh, let me get the uh, welcome to the army your rank will be you momentarily dude let me just get the chat up here boom now we got audio yes we got audio yeah we got audio We've got audio, we've got everything. Let's jump to the next screen. Here we go, ladies and gents. Welcome to the stream today. I do apologize about that. Uh, everybody, welcome. Today we're going to be speaking to Ratko uh, Filip Filipovic. And um, he's... <laughs> I, got it. I got the name <laughs> Yeah, right. yeah, you did. <laughs> he's, been, um, he's been a part of Gamefires for the audio uh, lead since the 18th of January 2018. And yes, like you pretty much single-handedly sort out all the audio for scum right well mostly i had some help from from damian from crow team yeah. uh at the beginning but yeah it's mostly i mean my work it's it's a team effort because i of course i needed uh, like programmers and artists and and i needed a boss as well you know <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> but uh, yeah but uh yeah it was it was a hell of a ride you know <laughs> oh i can imagine and and guys we're gonna get into a couple of stories like he got lost in the woods at one point, he was saying to me earlier on uh, yeah. when he was recording the audio for the sound, and I did push this out last week because I said, "Look, we're doing. We've been doing some um, audio is low on my end. Is it? Let me try turning it up. Are you sure it's? Are you sure the audio is low, guys? Can we just get a quick audio check? Are we sounding good? 
because as far as Mordio's saying, I'm actually sounding pretty loud. So if we can uh, just get a confirmation out there that audio is fine from everybody. TWS did say it was low. How you doing, TW? Good to see everybody today. Your mic sounds like you're talking yeah. to a laptop mic at the moment. Oh, really? Am I using my webcam mic? It's really low. Okay, let me yeah. try, let me let me try this then. Let me go to audio. Um, what about what about now? How's that, guys? Is that better? Yeah, I think I was using the webcam mic. Does that sound significantly different? Yeah, you lost your bass, man. I lost my bass. Wait, how's yeah. that now? That should be better. It sounds a little strange. Your audio is sounding good to me. I don't think you are. I'm hoping it will catch up in a sec because I did just change it. Same and low. Still low. No bass frequency. Okay. So I let's think, go. Yeah, I that's weird. I, I, I took all your bass, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's got that's got to sound a bit different there though guys i've just changed it to something else it's flat punch the mic to make sure there doesn't sound like your normal mic <clears throat> still doesn't sound good that is so strange i want to hear it on the thing Is that working now? There? Doesn't sound like your normal mic. Speak, uh, everything is the same as it was before. I can't turn it up any louder. <laughs> Ratko has a very long microphone. Yes, of course. I mean, uh, people say that uh, size doesn't matter. Like, mm, no. <laughs> I, have to, I have to compensate somehow. You have to you know? compensate for the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> right, so if I go to audio, um, try that. How's that sounding? Can you hear me? Yeah, you can hear me right. I don't think they heard you there. I'm, I mean, it sounds good to me, but let me check the stream. Right. Well, I've got it working here. The red mic is not working. It is working. <laughs> I'm just seeing why. Why doesn't it? Um, it's worse than before. Oh, great! This is this is a brilliant start today. I've got it working here. I don't think it's the mic. Yeah. It can't be the mic. Hold on. Yeah. That's that's fine. That's all plugged in. That's good to go. And that should be there. Tap the red microphone. Yeah, just tap it. Is that working on the microphone? I think you are getting the wrong input. That's what I was thinking. It's fine, carry on. This is going to be horrendous. Hmm, still low quality. Nothing. 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 Oh, it's fine. Default. Right, so I'm sitting here at default now, and I'm looking at my video, and that shouldn't be coming through there. I don't understand why that's, uh, that's coming through that way. You know, it wouldn't, be, it, it wouldn't be the audio, you know, themed stream if we don't have audio issues. <laughs> oh, exactly. Yeah. Well, apparently it doesn't matter how far I move this mic away. This mic is just not working. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just changed the laws of physics there. Nice. I, I'm, I'm not even using like my microphone at all in any way, shape, or form. So, but somebody said like the developer dude sounds way better. I mean, look at this. I should sound better. Look at look at that look at that mic setup he's got. <laughs> Dev microphone is a cannon. That is so true. Um, so basically, what's going to happen today, guys? 
We're only going to stream for a couple of hours today, and then we've got the sponsor stream tonight. So if anyone's going to join us for that, don't forget to hit the join button, come and join us, um, as we do private stream Wednesday uh, and Fridays. So my microphone isn't working for some weird reason. I think that's because I'm running through Skype, and I'm running through OBS, and everything's just kind of clashed. We got it working last time, but it doesn't seem to work um, right now. So I understand that this mic isn't working. It's not going to sound amazing, but I'll tell you what. Let's listen to some of Ratko's stories on how he does audio, because that guy you're seeing there right now in that webcam is the guy that makes every sound that you hear in Scum right now. He's like a one-man freaking army, and as you can see, audio is everything, because <laughs> I can't even get my freaking mic working. You're going to get me glow red, you know. I'm going to get embarrassed. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, <laughs> you hear in Scum right now. I'm just checking. He's like a one-man freaking army, and as you can see, audio I'm just is making everything. Sure. Someone said you were echoing, but I, I can't even get my freaking sure mic working. You You're gonna get me glow red, you know. I'm gonna get embarrassed. <laughs> I'm just no. right. You sound like you got echo, but you know what? I don't care. We get we get double Ratko today. So uh, this dude's name is Ratko Filipovic, and uh, he's the audio lead. So. I want to hear some of your stories on how to how you create audio and what sort of other things that you're having, what sort of challenges that you're creating um, for audio for some of the up and coming features. I know you can't talk about it with whatever's coming up, but um, yeah, but still, it's mostly the same same approach. I, I must say, um, what what we do first define the feature, then define uh, its um, requirements. How how can I say, and um, then, well. Depends on the time we have because usually uh, audio always comes last and it's normal. It's um, it's pretty um, Natural because we need to see things how it works so we can uh, create some sort of an immersion to it You know and it's right. always the best. It's always the best to see uh, see the final product and uh, Then to like glue, glue the sounds uh, afterwards, mm -hmm. but there's there are still um, a lot of I could say research before we we do the feature, um, because we need to know how sound behaves, because that's that's one really uh, big difference between making uh, like foley or uh, sound effects for movies or games. Like movies are linear media, you know, and it's always easy to say uh, to to see like oh uh, yeah the, at I don't know minutes and a half of the video the Nicolas Cage Cage heads goes you know in, burns up in flames and yeah. you know it's going to happen every time you know and it's that's that the linear thing but here we depend on the players especially right. in uh, this kind of sandbox open world survival game because anything can happen at, at any time you know and that's that's when we have to first define um, the behavior of audio I mean, it's it's closely connected to to the behavior of the feature, and uh, yeah, after we uh, we define you know our I could say checklist uh, to uh, to record or to implement, I usually uh, talk a lot with programmers. They're on, like my guardian guardian angels if I need something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah. First, the uh, implementation with placeholders, so there's there are not the sounds, uh, the final sounds. There's just the test sounds. It can be uh, noisy. It can be, um, uh, you know, uh, I I don't need good audio for this. But then we can test it and see if it's working properly or not. Or we have to change something, you know, before we get into the final design. Yep. After that, well, really depends on feature. Do we record? Do we use some libraries? Or, um, I don't know, I took Beda once in a studio and now he's a puppet. <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you like, um, do you, like because obviously, I think it was about a year ago, we were talking about uh, the ambience, mm -hmm. you know, and I was throwing it out there quite a lot, saying that, you know, if, you know, because we definitely need more ambience in the game. And there was something that uh, Tommy Slev put out on Twitter yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, and I instantly had to show it off, so I made a video about some of the things that are coming. Um, what mm -hmm. What do you think? Like, what, what do you think would be coming in terms of ambience uh, with audio? Because obviously, you can see that the city's got like some fog and stuff like that in it, and maybe other locations are kind of fogged out a bit. 
maybe even up in the mountains or something. I don't know. But what sort of audio? Because, well, uh, you know, audio is everything for, yes. for creating that. Yes, like, yes, you know. ambience as well. I mean, we put definitely a lot of effort to to have like different biomes. So right now, um, there are three different biomes. So it's like a coastal, continental area and a mountain area. Yep. And uh, they all have their different, I could I say, um, um, different characteristics. Right. So, okay. Yeah. Coast has uh, classically cicadas. I. I rec- it was nice to record them on uh, on a coast because I was on a on a vacation, so I just put my recorder in the in the woods and left it there for half an hour. <laughs> so it was the the easy part. Uh, that's nuts. Is that literally yeah. so? So when we're walking through the woods, that's literally how you done it. You just left the mic recording. Uh, some of some of it, yes. Some n- not quite because um, all every ambience, every biome has levels of how can I say. It? Ambiences. It's got like um, different um, uh, components. So let's say that one component is, you know, one global po- component is the sound of the rain. Uh, other is the sound of the wind. Wind. Uh, then I right. have one one thing that um, we have like um, uh, uh, areas where there's a dense foliage. Mm-hmm. I play some sort of like noise that sounds more like uh, leaves rustling you know on the wind so yeah. when you get when you get into the the foliage dense area you just feel some sort of like like there's something above you you know yeah uh yeah. i mean also with with the ambiences uh, uh the animals play a big part but um when we talk about ambience i'm talking about uh, like birds like something that's that you can't hunt and can't hurt you. So it's not a gameplay element. It's uh, exclusively um, here for for immersion. So basically, I have quite a lot of I had I did uh, quite a lot of scripting just to have um, completely random birds, like a simulation around you. Yeah. But but um, since I can get like what time of day it is. Uh, in the morning between five and seven, the birds are <clears throat> lou- loudest. Okay. You no, know? and uh, it's, it actually gives a bit um, to, I could say, to a gameplay. Uh, yeah. If you have if you have a loud uh, ambience, then you can't hear properly around. You no, know? and um, it's it's not good for you if you if you're playing you know more more PvP uh, oriented oriented game. Uh, but it's it's good because uh, we have um, uh, we, we we can make players like adapt to different situations. You know, for example, if you want to sneak up to somebody, you're not going to do it while there's silence around. You know, if everything's calm, you're going to do it while it's raining because while it's raining because you got all the sounds yes. there. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Completely, that's, completely. That's, 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 that's that's actually the way um, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted players to to adapt their gameplay to environment, so it's yep. basically pretty pretty um, uh, well thought. I mean, it's it's not like it's a big feature, but it was well thought to fit the gameplay and not just to be, you know, here because we need the ambience mm-hmm. whatsoever. No. See, amb- see, a- ambience is such a huge part of the game. Like there was there was there was a time when patches would come out. They weren't completely 100%, obviously, because there's stuff still in testing and that. Um, but there was parts where there was zero ambience, like certain parts of the mountains where it was literally silent. You well, know? actually, mountains are, I mean, from from my, my point of view, I wanted mountains to be a bit, um, could I say, um, quiet, like a quiet And, and that would make sense. That would make sense to some extent. Yes. You're, you're right. Yeah, it, it would do. Yes, um, but definitely, definitely it's a process. So, I mean, it's great that we're in early access because we can now discuss with the community and see what they want in. You know, if something doesn't work, we can change it. And it's not that um, that hard to, to make some changes now. So thank God for early access. <laughs> I mean, what, the, I mean... What, 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 sorry to interrupt, but what you guys, no, or what you've recently done with the bunkers, for example, mm-hmm. completely changed the atmosphere of the bunker, like completely yeah. 100%. And everyone 
and I haven't heard anyone say anything bad about that. Like they they love that, and it even yeah. it, and it even wanted to take me because I kind of when I was playing scum, I'd kind of stay away from bunkers on purpose. But just to have that immersive experience, the immersion, just because of that audio, it made me want to go into bunkers again because I felt like, you know, you're somewhere completely different. Yeah. Just just that audio was really really mm. good, and yeah. you know, I mean. I mean, it was it was actually pretty held back because I, I was waiting for the features. Uh, yeah. Basically, for the functionality that I can um, um, I can blend into another um, another completely different ambience, and um, so we have those um, uh, those differences. I mean, uh, I could have done it before, but uh, the way I would do it would take more time, mm -hmm. and it wouldn't sound sound as good. You know, so yeah. so maybe something it's better to put first on the paper, uh, discuss it, and not just push it. Uh, you know, without uh, proper, you know, thinking. How could I say? <laughs> no, no, no. I got, I got you completely, one hundred and ten percent. Just before we go on to some other like immersive areas and stuff like that, or or future uh, audio coming mm -hmm. in and stuff, because I still want to hear a load more. But everyone keeps asking, so I'm just going to ask it, guys, because you did ask it. Uh, you did ask me. How did you get the sound for the pooping in the game? What happened there? What did you use? Uh, I actually used... Uh, wait. How did you do this? We're about to find out! So yeah, this is my um, companion that goes with me all the time. Oh, I've so seen is, them. I've seen them. This is Zoom H5. Yep. Uh, and uh, yeah, I was just in... Uh, I, I mean, I wasn't sitting in the toilet. <laughs> <You know? laughs> <laughs> but I was, but I was still in the room, and uh, every time I hear that sound effect, I uh, I really want to redo it because I'm not happy. I was thinking just to, for for the sake of you know, realism, I could yep. just go to the forest, find a really nice spot, you know, and and do the thing. But I'm having another issue. Um, we have uh, both male and female uh, characters. So I can do both. <laughs> see you. See. You, wait. Hold. Hold. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Like you know, we know each other. Well, we know each other quite well. Did you go to the woods and poop while no. you record? No. You, no. You didn't. No. So how? So how? So how uh, did you get I, I that sound? Say, I must say, not yet. But you. <laughs> but but you want to get the most realistic sound, which is yes. which which is fair. Which is fair because if you're passionate about something, you want it to be authentic. <laughs> You want an authentic experience. So how did so how did you get the old pooping sound? How did that work? Well, I was actually just struggling, you know, and that was it, you know. So that, <laughs> but that, also, that is but that also, was your that's your voice. Yes, yes, that's my voice. <laughs> so what did you do after that? Did you go like? Uh, no, I actually uh, no. The farts are hundred percent legit. Oh, they are. Yeah, I don't have <laughs> I don't have a lot of them. Just because it's like pretty hard to, you know, um, it's hard to record in the room because you then you catch a lot of reverb. So if I wanted to fart for a while and, and record it, I just, just had to had to run out, you know. And if you run out and there's a car passing by, then your fart is ruined, you know. Do you know what? <laughs> I've got to say, ladies and gents, this is dedication. This is how it is done. This is how it is done because... Look at that, making that sound yourself, <laughs> admitting it, the amount of passion you've got for the audio stuff. And I'm not even kidding, dude. Like, I love every aspect of this game. And, and, and I think sometimes people tend to forget, not forget, but everyone will scream if the audio isn't right. But if it's fine, you won't hear anything. But you know, somebody said, like, um, um, somebody compared us to uh, the, um, uh, what's the name? Appendix. Appendix. Like, oh, like all the audio peeps, you know, if it's everything good, you know, eh, it's <laughs> fine. But if it starts malfunctioning, then yeah. the whole hell goes loose, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just need to get a couple of them foam pads and just fart into the foam pads. Yeah. I think, I think that's great, though. And do you know what? Like, with everything being as authentic as it can be, I think that's what will make... A more realistic experience with the game because when you hear every audio sound yeah. you know that has been made completely and whether it's embarrassing or not everyone poos 
Everyone you, pees. Like yes. you know, every it's it's nothing to be ashamed. Like you know, I mean, let's be let's be realistic. Nobody sits on a toilet. I mean, not. Like, it's not. It's not like. Nobody. I do it. I, I handstand yeah, on the toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah I but, but, but yeah, but uh, you know, not everybody goes like mm, and being like uh, heavy. I I was uh, thinking about um, changing this actually to uh, um, to remove that struggling sounds that yep. um, would go with the metabolism. Right. So the struggling sounds would actually uh, tell you that something's wrong with your body, you know. So, oh, so, oh, but for the new metabolism system, did, yeah. did you wanted to change the way the pooping yes. sound because yes. that, that sort of I achy mean, pain sound yeah. you wanted for something else? Yeah, if, it, if everything's fine with you, then I don't see a reason, you know, to hear that struggle. I mean, it's fun, it's cool. But yeah, I would yeah, yeah. Rather hear it if something's wrong with me. So this could be like an indication that uh, that something is wrong, and I have to check it and I have to fix it. You know. Right. Um. So how did you get the sound for the wolves? For the wolves, um, the ones that are already in the game as a part of ambience, or or the real ones. <laughs> did you actually record from real wolves, or was it more like? Uh, no, uh, I, no I, use, I, use, I use libraries for libraries. For yeah, yeah, yeah. Tools. Libraries. It would be it would be like pretty um, pretty hard to get the real wolf. You know, <laughs> you, you you would literally need to go up into the mountains for weeks to get that sort yeah, of yeah, yeah. And, and, and and to actually make him attack me. You know, it, it would be like a, uh, a little a little strange. Uh, yep. But um, what I did is uh, different recordings from dogs. Mm -hmm. So I I kind of I could say modulated. So right. I get that growl sound first, and um, I'm think you're gonna see the attack is me. So I made it like with my mouth. <laughs> right? No. Oh, you actually did that. You actually did the attack sound of the walls uh, of your attack, mouth. Yes, but I'm not sure that you heard it yet. I think. I have. Was... I have. Nothing's been. No. We know. All we know is that the wolves are going to be coming in within the next week or so, or even this week or next week. That's all we know. I Maybe. can't Maybe. confirm or deny anything. <laughs> Tell us, Ratko, when are the wolves coming? Uh, I'm joking, mate. I'm, I'm kidding. Uh, I, would, uh, I, would, look, I wouldn't uh, put you through uh, that. I, I mean, it's um, uh, um, if, I, if I said that I already did the sounds, so I think we're on a good track to, to finish them. So Right. So yeah, but still, they need to be tested. They need to be polished out, and we need to flush all those bugs we have uh, that usually comes with with features mm -hmm. like that. Okay, that's that's fair enough. Um, should we just go for a little walk? Yeah. Should we just go for a little wander? So, what was the what was your what's your biggest challenge you find um, recording or even finding audio for the game? What is what as a, as like because obviously we, we we've got people out there who love audio. Um, in the stream, everyone loves doing a, a bit of something different, you know. And mm -hmm. we all want to know more information about how this sort of stuff's done because it educates me on how audio's done within games as well. But as an audio lead, what intimidates you? What scares you when the devs, when when the other developers ask you to do something? What what is your biggest challenge? Well, I I must say it's um, uh, vehicle design. Basically, vehicle. engine engine design. I spend like a lot of time on it. I'm pretty happy with the uh, with the pickup truck that's in, uh, right. but it took a long, long time to get it right. It was um, excruciating. <laughs> I mean, is that for the um, startup sounds and everything? As no, well, like? just uh, uh, you know the thing. Um, the thing about uh, vehicle design is not just uh, oh you have the revving of the engine. Yeah, and and that's it. You know, you just put it in the game; it mag magically works. No, I need to have a stable RPM, like every 500 RPMs. I need to have stable loop that I have to find, yeah. Because it's um, um, it's it's really important that blending between um, is right, and it needs to sound um, powerful. I mean, I can uh, I can record my own car. I mean, I try to record my own car and uh, just to see how it works, but it was boring. It was realistic, but it was boring. You know, that's that's yeah, why. Yeah, but, uh, but a Lamborghini wouldn't sound good on an SUV, would it? 
<laughs> oh, wouldn't. Yeah, no, wouldn't. But it still needs it still needs a little bit of touch that the pickup truck has. Uh, yeah. About the SUV, I'm not that dissatisfied with it, but uh, the, um, the quad needs to go <clears throat> complete overhaul. Because yeah. actually, uh, uh, you have to think when designing vehicles, you have to think about uh, um, um, if is um, is the engine uh, loaded. So if it's if your clutch is is released or is, is it pushed, you know, it's it has different sounds. But also, mm -hmm. uh, vehicles are like instruments. They have intake and they have exhaust. Those are pipes. That are instruments like. Uh, Breast section, you know. Just stop here so, for a minute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry, go on. Yeah, uh, so basically, uh, we needed to combine somehow um, and record both uh, like exhaust and the intake, mm -hmm. and then give it uh, another missing, uh, I mean, other foley, uh, foley stuff like uh, material surfaces that have, uh, if you're normal, uh, if you're driving normally, of or if you're skidding. And we have 28 material surfaces in, in the game. Is that for that's, walking or, or and, walking that's and for, driving? Uh, that's for driving, walking, uh, material impacts. If you throw something, if you shoot, uh, if the bullet um, hits, uh, if the arrow hits uh, surface, it's basically different. You know, There's a whole lot of content that need, still needs to be added there. You know? Right. I mean, yeah, there, there is some, there is there is something in in, but it's what I said the placeholder content. It needs to be better, and we have the uh, we have the chance to do it during EA. Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. Um, everyone's saying in the chat that the vehicles sound great. Like everyone seems no, uh, like they love the gear sounds, like the gear grinding as well. Yeah, I only have one uh, had one chance to record it. <laughs> what, what, what microphone did you use to record the vehicles? Uh, I actually had... Oh, shit, it was a long what? time ago. Is it uh, Shaw sure, sure microphones? Uh, no. I think I had two Octavas. And I right. had one, one Neumann. So I was just playing around. So what's that microphone you're using there? What's that? You, uh, that's, uh, that's this a, is, is Maren's audio scope. I think it's discontinued. Maybe they didn't have enough material to make it <laughs> because, of, because of its size. So. It looks like a cannon. Uh, yeah. yeah, so it's actually really, um, uh, really good um, scope, like a shotgun mic uh, with um, low bar characteristics. So it actually catches only stuff in front of you. So if I go here, I'm going to be muddy. If I go oh, wow. uh, on the other side, so it just catches this. Part. So it's basically uh, the best if I go uh, record something outside, you know, where there, if there's something noisy, I can just, you know, um, isolate all the all the other noise and just record what I have. Uh, mm -hmm. what so, I, what, so what happens if you get really close to like, that mic? It's like a laser, like a laser pointer. What? So what happens if you get right up close to that microphone? Like like this? It doesn't sound you know. any louder, does it? It's weird. You sound no. loud. You sound louder far away. Lot further away from it. Yeah, but that's that's its characteristic. But still, if I get too close to the mic, you get the pro pro proximity effect, so you get a uh, boost on 100 hertz. So that's something I, I really don't uh, don't do. Right. But yeah, it's it's actually I'm not sure if something's doing the interface or or something behind. But yeah, I really I told you I had another one just for sakes. I I wanted to use uh, SM7B. I have the Scarlet Studio here that I got recently. It's good. It's good. It's nice, but size matters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not how many you have. See, I, I, I did have the SM7B, but mm -hmm. in the future, if, if you know, it was a lovely microphone, but in the future, you know, I mean, I, I like Rode. I think Rode works. I mean, right now, obviously, you're not hearing me from my microphone because I really mm -hmm. messed things up. But Rode really works well with my voice. Um, and I, I've noticed that with certain microphones, certain frequencies, how your voice is, everyone will have a mic that makes them sound better than other microphones. You know? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, even the singers, they choose their mics because they sound good on it. So Yeah. 
And I guess it doesn't matter how expensive a microphone is. If it no. works for you, then it, it works for you. Like I find with the Rode mics that like, you get really close to it, you get a really nice sound. Um, yes. <laughs> but, if, but they're easily, they're, they're very easy to clip. You know, you can clip them quite easily. Well, yes, they're condenser mics, you know. <laughs> they're they're pretty sensitive, you know, so you have to treat them like a girl. You know? <laughs> so how, so, <laughs> sound about my missus. So, so how did you get the sound for the accent for this? What is, is that literally chopping wood sound? Literally, literally chopping woods. You were literally just chopping wood? Yes, back. yes. Only thing I did a bit more is um, I was expecting a lot of people are going to do it outside. So I added... Uh, more convolution reverb on it so it sounds like you're outside and it's it's echoing and uh, if you actually go a bit further you would hear it like you're in the wood you know right okay um so i'm not going to i'm not going to try and push for any leaks as much as everyone would okay. love me to but we have to respect that you know uh Ratko here is you know he's going to be under some sort of nda under you yes. know unofficial yes. NDA or, or even yes. an unofficial no NDA, Wait, so um, tell us all the leaks you know. No, I'm joking. I'm kidding. <laughs> but... Wait, <laughs> I had something just for this occasion, and I'm not sure where I threw it. I actually oh, had a pack pack of Energizer um, uh, batteries right. that had written on it "No leaks guaranteed." No. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to give what, that a big one? to Tommy's love, but uh, <laughs> I need I need batteries. <laughs> where, where where is everyone? Have they gone home now? Is yeah, gone I home? mean, yes, well deserved weekend, you know. Yeah, no, no, like you say, everyone's been pushing like an, yeah. a a ton of hours. I mean, I brought know, Mr. There. Smiles with me, you know. <laughs> is that what you call him? Oh, Mr. Smiles. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because you had the smile on the foot, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Where'd you get them from? I want to get one of them. I need to get uh, one. No, this somewhere. was no. The, this one was uh, just made one for for the office, and we were taking the taking it to the uh, like conferences and where, where, where we had boots and yeah. Do, do you know? Do you do you know? Just uh, going off track from audio for two seconds. Do you know if you're mm -hmm. going to have any um, future sort of game meetings or anything like that sort of shows? Well, right now, no. I, I don't think so. I mean, everything's postponed because of the pandemic, and um, oh yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. I I don't think that's that's gonna happen. I mean, in the near future, uh, I hope everything will get sorted out soon, and uh, you know, we get back to our uh, normal lives. But uh, yeah, this is something that we really need to. We're, we're all watching out, and. Um, I mean, uh, even I think develop conference uh, conference that's uh, hosted in in Croatia. It's uh, it's also postponed. So yeah, for now we're only reachable online. Right, I've got you. Uh, do you know what? I've I think I've got my mic working. I think so. Hello. Yeah, that's got to be working. That's got to be working now. My audio's been screwed from the beginning. I hope I just fixed it. I've just pressed something <laughs> and it worked. So I decided to uh, to do that. Oh. I didn't mean to, to do anything like that. Um, so with the future updates and everything coming along, obviously we know that there's quests and stuff like that in the future. Um, have you been working on any audio for stuff like that as of yet, or are you still waiting for things to be finished? And I know no, I'm not fishing for leaks here. I'm no, not fishing but, but for leaks. It's, it, it's still too early, you know, doing something uh, properly. Uh, I don't think that um, I would record anything for that i mean i do i do record something for the for the future i have some some stuff uh, that were announced but uh, um, it's just not um, uh, i'm kind of uh, lately I'm, I'm i've been leaving uh, two weeks by two weeks so right. we have those those runs like uh, sprints for for patches and we really want to stay on on track with it and uh, yeah. you know, deliver and have something new like every two or three weeks uh, so I'm basically a lot uh, a lot more focused on, on something that's that's in this iteration I mean uh, lately I even took uh, took some uh, some work of my friends uh, that are doing some doing a lot of optimization now and, and they have a lot of on, on their plates so I've been doing some technical artist stuff as well but you know this is this is the thing how we how we work how we function you know if if you need a, 
helping hand, I'm going to help you out. Not just, I'm not just the sound guy here. You know, we're all developers and of we course, all help each other. Well, yeah, you're, you're a, you're you a developer. Your job is just as if more important than everyone else's. Yeah, because I mean, uh, without audio, uh, you haven't got a game. You can't yes, play without still, audio. You know, you know, uh, there is a saying like, uh, oh, "Audio is uh, at least fifty percent of the film of or the game." I would this. Uh, I mean, it goes. It's it's great for me, but it's not true. Uh, audio uh, is not the only thing that creates, that makes the game. You know, it's gameplay. Like programmers, it's mechanics, it's design, it's audio. Like everybody needs to work. You know? Oh, of course, yeah. everyone. If, if, everyone has to contribute. Yes. Yeah. But if one fail, we all fail. Yeah, completely. You know, yeah. That's, that's you take the, one brick out, the wall will fall down. Yeah, that's that's kind of the. If it's a badly um, built wall. Th thinking uh, like some philosophy that, that we go with, you know. So it's never a problem to, you know, just jump in if I know how to do it. You know. Mm -hmm. So you've got. So you guys have. Um, it was put a little while ago. Obviously, you got. You now got sound propagation. Um, uh, well, How? let's def let's define sound propagation. But 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 the first the first thing I'm go I'm going to ask because I tried this the other day and I did hear I did hear something but wasn't 100 percent sure. No. Um, uh, look at that hill over there. Check that hill out okay. the way I'm looking now, right? So if okay. I go behind that hill, and and shoot the weapon, will that? Yes. Y well, you it, you know. it will be slightly dimmed. But it will be the same if I go. Let me show if I if I go behind a tree, it would be the same. Right. Because right now we have only one channel of, of occlusion and obstruction. Right. So okay. Basic, basically, when we talk about sound propagation, it's it's not that um, not that simple, you know. Yes, you can. Uh, um, I mean, I can I can put up the obstructions. So it means that if I don't see you. Mm -hmm you're going to be dimmed and you're going to be pretty quiet. That's, you know, ex possible explanation, possible outcome that would be um, um, expected, you know. But what if we're standing like th that here is a wall. Yeah. Here's the edge. You're standing here where you are and I'm standing, you know, on this position. Yep. You know, everything for occlusion, uh, all the requirements for occlusion are met and you wouldn't hear me you know there are edge cases uh like like those that just um, we can't think about propagation that way i uh tried a lot um i actually looked into the um microsoft project triton and mm -hmm. uh, it's a really cool thing uh basically what, 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 what is this called what's it called uh project triton project um, triton tri triton yeah it was um uh, it's basically a simulation uh, of sound as waves. So you have um, uh, every sound that it makes, it, it like creates a wave through the geometry. And there, and, and obviously every obstruction through the ob. ob yes, through, I mean, I mean, you know. uh, 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 not just uh, obs not it just obstructs uh, the sound, but it uh, creates openings like doors that you would hear. You would hear, if I do uh, if I create make a sound in another room, you yeah. wouldn't hear me through the wall. You would hear me through the door. Mm -hmm. And it depends if it's open, if, if it's closed. But yeah, I try to um, build because uh, uh, basically uh, that uh, project Triton is working. That it takes all the geometry from the map and makes voxels so they're like small boxes that are like low resolution of this um, of this geometry and right. then when you make a sound it can uh, uh, calculate the impulse response from it so it can uh, uh, simulate the room but also uh, it um, the sound travels like the wave i mean there's some really cool cool things about it but uh, when i try to build for one small level uh, I try to make those uh, uh, voxels. Mm -hmm. Just uh, yeah, I need uh, 60 uh, Azure server instances. It's going, it's going to take two days. So right. basically, um, I don't think if I put it now to work on the whole map, I don't think it would be done until uh, um, 1.0 version. <laughs> like, so so we're so 
so we're gonna so eventually there will be the sound wave and obstruction with the set the way sound well, propagation should really yes. work yes uh my first thing is to do uh, to create portals so portals are openings for the sound to go to go through it's similar to how light works in games okay and, uh, and uh, which i just need positions of the portals and to see if the sound source is inside or outside um we could have done it already and tried out, but yep. um, when we put things on paper, that would be a massive hit on uh, optimization. It would oh, be really? like three steps back. Yes. It wow. Would be a lot of actors. Uh, it would uh, cause issues with streaming uh, because there would be a lot of a lot of those positions. They are all actors. They act, they act the same, you know. And all those checks, it would be at this point too much to to implement because uh, you know performance going to be hurt we don't want to do that i mean we did a great job with uh, optimization till now and it would be pretty bad to to take those two or three steps uh, steps back mm -hmm. i mean we're, we're discussing how we can do it in runtime so we don't uh, have to load a lot so we can load only something around uh, but we're still on a paper and trying to trying to do something uh, you know it's pretty strange when um, when i look other teams i mean uh, I, I am somehow head of the team but i'm by myself you know <laughs> i'm somehow I mean, head of the team <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i like that ratko <laughs> yeah. yeah so so i really need to sometimes push the programmers and uh, you know just to define some some of features that i want in the future but we really need to see the big picture here you know um I think audio is in really good shape in the game for now, um, and I need to make room at least for the features. I'm giving room for the programmers to do on something else. That's do you know? Do you know what I would say in the game? The audio is 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 virtually, mind the pun, virtually perfect. But there uh, is but there is yeah. one thing a lot of people do seem to complain about, and there's only one thing, and okay. that would be how far away you can hear people in bushes bushes uh, and bushes yeah. seem to be loud so look uh, if I, I if if i run I, away i can okay. show you so if you if you stay if you stand still where you are now and tell yeah. me if you tell me how far away you can hear I'm, me I'm in a bush to around 70 meters i think so you can still hear that yeah I can still, but so faint. But, but it's very faint. Uh, yes, but if it rained, I wouldn't be able to hear that. No, you're right. Yeah, you no, know. Uh, yeah, yeah, still, you are right. But still, it's, but still, it's a process. You know, um, we really need a lot of time, and I have like I don't know, one thousand five hundred hours in game because we always play. Always, uh, you need to get a feel of it. You know, if of course, right, yeah, yeah. You know, if not something's not, it's not right. We're gonna tweak it. So yes. Um, uh, definitely, the bushes were. Uh, you, you could hear uh, the bushes too far. Some changes have been made now for the next patch. I actually did some 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 testing yesterday. Right. Uh, it, feel, it feels better, but it still counters uh, for the people who like to hi like huge camo, like mm -hmm. to hide in the bush, and um, you know you can hear them. It's a little camping trip because if you're gonna hide in a bush and you're gonna stand absolutely still you're gonna make you, you will not make no sound so depending on your uh, movement uh, and your rotation mm -hmm. like motion intensity you're gonna be louder or not if you're gonna stand still in the bush you're not gonna yep. make a sound you know of course but that's, no no that's, I'll, I'll, that's yeah. fine but but if you're gonna have a weapon and move through the uh, through the bush yeah, you you will be, you will be heard, and no stealth skills gonna help you there. You know? mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. But but I say I still definitely uh, it's always nice nice to find the community giving feedback, and uh, I every every day uh, with my first coffee in the morning I first go through the uh, Steam forums and I, uh, Steam forums I go to do to the Discord page I see if there I was told you didn't message. I guys these devs will check the Steam forum. You look on Steam. It's Bunny. Yes. Bunny and a couple of other people will constantly be. They'll they're, they're they're literally constantly on the forums, and this is why 
this is one of the reasons that I have stuck with this game for so long is because of their dedication to their community and the community's dedication back to them. And there's a constant, there's a constant meeting where everyone can get something fixed or sorted when it needs to be sorted. Like we know recently, obviously when I did the last um, Q and A with uh, Tommy Slev, and I had to show him, and I know he didn't want me to, but I had to show him in front of everyone how broken the camo skill was. Now, as far as I know, that has been fixed. There is a fix to that, um, which will be soon. But uh, as far as I know, there is something that has been fixed for that, right? Um, because that was a massive issue with being able just to sit in a field and someone run past you and not even see you. Um, yeah, so, definitely. yeah. Yeah, but still, it's, it's, it's the thing. We communicate, communicate with the community all the time, you know. And uh, uh, it's, some, I mean, it's always, as a developer, you have the stages towards making a game are completely different than how uh, a player um, experiences the game. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's like different order. And uh, sometimes even the de developers can't see what's wrong, but players can, you know. Yes, so and I said this to him last time. I said that to yeah, Tommy. Yes. I said, and, you, and, yeah. And we just need to uh, maintain constant communication. And it's, it's nice. I mean, our community is super nice. I, I really, I really love, love talk to them as much as I can in, on, the, on the Steam forums, even though I don't get a lot of um, uh, audio. Audio threads. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, but but still, it's always nice, and uh, I'm really thankful for for every feedback we we have because then we can put something on paper. We have mm -hmm. some research, and we can say, okay, we did something wrong. Okay, let's let's test it again. Let's look it from the other other point of view, and maybe it is. Sometimes it it, it just isn't. Somebody somebody is, as, uh, is asking on forums. Uh, I mean, it was. Uh, yeah, why don't you put. Uh, uh, all the ambient sounds on one slider. Yes, right. so you can turn it off and have advantage <clears throat> over other players. Like no, no, it, no, the ambience, no, no, no. Ambience is part of the gameplay, mm -hmm. and, and it should stay like that. So I was pretty swift about it, and I, I just didn't didn't want to budge on it. Yeah. Um, just just to uh, confirm, because someone was asking in chat about mm -hmm. the weapon stuff, and I wanted to get onto the weapon sounds. Mm -hmm. Now you did work alongside. Um, the Croatian army on the ranges, right? Yes. With, with, with the weapons. Now, did you go through most of the weapons or was some of the weapon sounds manipulated? Um, like, uh, at, for example, was a 5.56 five, um, uh, uh, changed with the audio to sound like a point two two? No. You actually used them weapons? No. Uh, we used... Um, actually, we didn't use exact weapons. So... Uh, only weapon that we had that's in the game now is UMP. Okay. And uh, no, UMP and MP5, uh, but we only had suppressed one. Uh, but we have some other really cool, um, cool stuff. Like um, we had, I mean, one thing that blew me away was one creation sniper called Elmech. Yeah. That thing, I was standing 20 meters or 30 meters away when that blow. It almost swept me off my feet. What rifle was that? Uh, Elmer. Uh, no, it's, what, it's... what What? was the gun? What? What What was the gun? No, Elmer. it was uh, Elmer. A-E-L-M-E-C-H. What's that? Uh, actually, actually, it's a Croatian uh, made sniper. Right. That's why yeah, I haven't heard I think, of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, it yeah. used it's a 7.62 uh, caliber. And, um, yeah, it was the best sounding weapon I've heard in my life. How do I, so, how, how do I spell that? E-L-M-E-C-H. Wait, let me. <clears throat> I'm going to, I'm going to get a, um, I'm going to get a picture of it and. Yeah, it's E-M-992. Wow, that's, uh, E-M-992, yeah? Yeah. That is a beautiful rifle. It's a beautiful, beautiful gun. And uh, and what did I you actually, use that for? What what gun did you I use actually, that for in the game? Uh, it's uh, SVD. The SVD. Yeah, yeah, SVD. It's it was the most powerful. Uh, I mean, it sounds was the most powerful. But I had another issue when we recorded the weapons. Uh, I mean, there is one thing I 
tried to do, and it, it was put in microphone really close to mm -hmm. uh, to weapon. It was like three meters away, or maybe maybe a bit uh, a bit less, and it was blowing out. So I could record only noise. It was only how can, how can I say? It's it's it sounded like a broken recording, you know. Yeah. So I had to ha I had to move my mics a bit away. Because I know some sound designers have the thing like, yeah, it's great to put the mic right next to the gun so you can get a <clears throat> punch, you know, so, so it distorts a bit. But yeah, you can break the mic. You know? Well, so, yeah, uh, I, I, I was going to mean, ask, like, how did yeah, you do it's, that? It's, how did it's, you it's get the close good, sound? Yeah, uh, I was on a 10 uh, or no, seven, seven meters. It was good enough for me to capture the, uh, that first impact. Because, right. I'm, I mean, uh, you can't capture everything because some things are way too loud. Then you uh, jump in with the design. So you um, use those recordings mm -hmm. and uh, just add a bit at the beginning to, um, uh, to a gunshot. Because right now, our, um, uh, all of our uh, weapons consists of mainly five layers. So I have one really short 30 millisecond uh, uh, initial gunshot that's mostly, I could say, like, like you're clipping, like you're too, too loud to, to record it, you know, yeah. for, for the, for the <clears throat> dyna dynamic range of the system. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the first thing. Then I have the tail. So tail is basically I have four different tails, four different uh, groups of environment. One is yep. outdoor, one is uh, big hall, sm uh, medium hall, and small room. Right. So basically you have different audio if you're shooting from different rooms. So that's the also uh, thing about the gameplay. You know, if somebody shoots you from the small room, you'll know he's not outside. You know. He's, yeah, he's that is very distinct. Hand. You know when someone's shooting inside compared yes. to outside. Yep, yes, definitely. So, definitely. so there's 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 a gameplay element. Um, another thing is that we have is uh, basically uh, weapon mechanics. So what uh, uh, movement does weapon do when it sh fires uh, a bullet? So yep. maybe you have a bolt action uh, or the oh, I'm not sure what's the name. As aside, when it opens up uh, to chamber another bullet, so we have mm -hmm. that. And also one thing that's important: bullet when when it leaves um, the muzzle, it breaks the sound barrier. Yes. Yep. And and it only happens with um, uh, it doesn't happen with subsonic uh, bullets because they fly less than 342 meters per second. Yeah. And uh, there's also um, uh, a layer that gives bit of immersion so when you pack everything this up you get something we heard you know on the and referenced on the on the gun range mm -hmm. still we do have um uh it's uh, as well and uh i think uh, the small mp5 that they naturally use subsonic bullets and yep. they shouldn't have that crack but that's something that's going Pretty soon in game. I, yeah, because I, I really I, I used to play a lot of armor. Now, mm -hmm. obviously, obviously with armor, they're gonna have all the gun sounds for every gun. Like you yes. know, that that they they're gonna have yes. that. I, I really you don't know. have. Uh, I, I don't I don't know where to find all those guns <laughs> and, and go and record them. It's 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 heavy, but still, um, even even though that we didn't have the real guns, we could record and and use uh, use it to to uh, how, how, how could I say our our advantage, you know, and create yeah. uh, actually recreate uh, the sounds of, of real, real guns. I think I think the way the the, the sounds of the guns are are really really good. Like even just by yes. checking, like even that sound just sounds yes. really uh, nice. Actually, it's uh, uh, all the reloads. Uh, everything was recorded on site. So we actually we actually had um, um, first part was shoot. Actually, when we started recording, first yep. testing uh, where to put microphones, uh, what to do. Uh, I actually wanted to capture. Uh, so. S sorry to interrupt. I really do apologize. But if I would, if so, let's say I'm about to fire this gun, right? So this okay. weapon here, mm -hmm. 
Okay. To get to get that sound, where was you standing in conjunction to where I'm standing? To get that audio, where would you have to stand? Like, if you. So if you could use your character in the game, could you stand where you stood when you recorded the rifle sounds? Um, okay, I stood here. But I had one mic here. What, so just actually, underneath? I, uh, not, not underneath. I tried with this position, like in front. Right. But I had to move it like on this, this, this bar. So, so he I shot over to the top of it? Obviously, yes. he obviously yes. wouldn't shoot the microphone. Yes. I mean, that would be a dick move, but... Yeah. <laughs> but he, he actually was trying to shoot a bit aside. Right. Uh, just so we don't get a bullet passing by. That's what I wanted to actually record by myself. Yeah. But that would take me going to the bunker and uh, getting guys to shoot at me. <laughs> so you had to get the, the sound from the side yeah. and then the sound from the front or just the front? No, just the front. Just I the front. I, I, I can simulate the side. You know, it's it's actually ba the ba in the base of, of of our game already, so so we don't need. Uh, uh, we that don't, sounds we, really nice, though. It does. Yeah, it does sound nice. We don't didn't need like binaural recordings because I'm simulating binaural in in the game. You know. <laughs> yeah. So it's kind of binaural kinda means two microphones, two different recording locations, right? What the? Does binaural mean two different recording locations? No, binaural means that it simulates how you hear in your ears. No, right. You know, uh, it's basically uh, binaural microphones looks like a head, like mm -hmm. normal head, and the microphones are inside ears, and that that's how they simulate how would you hear in real life. Now, right now, I think they have uh, like uh, little uh, microphones that goes like uh, uh, in ear headphones. So it's and two mi So it is two microphones. Two Two, two mic mics. Uh, it's binaural, so it must be two. You know. So it's, it's two it's two microphones, one sound, so it's like yes. you know what I'm saying. Yes. It's uh, you can kind of yeah. I know what you're saying. I completely get that. Um, yeah. When are you gonna do the sound for the dragons in Scum? Dragons. 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 Dragon. Dragons. <laughs> Dra dragons. <laughs> oh, Lever didn't tell you the inside joke we have then. No. Oh, Tommy Slav. <laughs> uh, I keep, I, mean, I keep, I keep making a joke that dragons are going to be coming to scum. Obviously, they're not, guys. Well, well, ladies and well, gents, you, you, no you dragons. You can hear, you can hear some, right? What dragons? Well, uh, something that uh, I think the community defined it. Uh, did we add pterodactyls? Pterodactyl. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. How did you get that sound? Uh, it was like it, it's library, but one thing I wanted. It's not a pterodactyl. It's it's a vulture. Oh really? Yes, and uh, I really just kind of wanted to portray the death in the air, and like, ooh. Do you know water. what? That is that is wicked. I'm not even kidding you. Like when, like the thing is, obviously, you're gonna have to tell people when the wolves come out. But it would be so funny if you didn't tell anyone that the wolves were coming into the game, and everyone would just be thinking uh, that there'd be audio uh, for wolves. Well, well, uh, let's say this way: when the wolves come in the game, you're not gonna hear them that often. Oh, you're not. You're not. Yeah. <laughs> so what? So you're gonna you're gonna take out the placeholder for them, which would be yeah, the ambience. Uh, the, the ambience part, yes, it goes out. And then you'd actually have it from the actual physical yes. wolves yes. themselves. How many wolves yes. will there be? Do you know how many wolves? I mean, uh, do you know any of that, or do you just no, no, no? I, I, re I really, I really don't. I, I haven't been testing them a lot in the game because I was doing some other stuff. But uh, I mean, there would be enough to for you to just you know pack up your bags and run away <laughs> yeah no i've got you um so we was told a little while ago that eventually we're gonna be having to reload our magazines one by one kind of similar mm. to the other survival game that i won't mention um so we're gonna have to reload the mags one by one uh illumana says here and he did uh, ask me this a little while ago to uh, to ask how will the new magazine loading sounds come into place, i.e. full sounds and weight, etc.? So how will that work with the magazine? Uh, I guess you just record reloading yeah, the magazine. It's, it's recorded already. We did it on the shooting range, so we're just waiting to get in the game. <laughs> oh, wow. What? So you yeah. recorded that like, over a year yeah, ago? I mean, yeah, I mean, 
I had a chance, you know, we had a wide variety, a variety of, of weapons, you know, and uh, we had a whole day there. So, Did you get to fire any? No. Not one? Uh, you, you need to have clear clearance. Oh, it's really? Clear clearance and no, 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 no. no. I, fired, I fired a Dragonov uh, sniper once. Well, yeah, but uh, you know, uh, actually we were with uh, military. There was um, ambulance watching over us, so you don't fire live round without it. So I bet they were really happy with that though, having like a game development company come over to them and yeah, I bet it was something they, they different were, for them. Happy. Yeah, <laughs> they, they were happy. <laughs> I bet they're like, I want to hear what this sounds like now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah, no, that was that was really really fun day there. It was really loud day, loud day, but it was really fun. I okay. really hope we're going to do it again. No, I do I do really like that. Is it is there any is there any other guns? That might be coming into the future, i.e., um, general purpose machine guns. Right, so um, would well, anything like that be coming in in the future? And how would you go around getting the audio for that? Uh, well, we recorded MG4, so right. it's like heavy machine gun. Yep. Uh, but yeah, it's just waiting for the for the right weapon. So still can't confirm or deny anything. But yep. some recordings for some bigger guns are already. So, oh, Mr. Minich is here. Who? Hey? <laughs> Mr. Minich, uh, Minoza. He's actually sitting right here. <laughs> oh, is he actually there? Not, not, not here, but usually he sits here. So. And what does Mr. Minoza do? He's a 3D artist. He's the 3D so, yeah. artist? Yes, so shout, shout out to, to Minich. Mr. Minoza? Show us what you're made of. Give us those monsters. Yeah. Well, can, actually, 3D uh, artist is everything, isn't it? Yeah. We forgot something. What's that? I brought, I brought gifts. You brought gifts. <laughs> yeah. Let's 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 push some some in the in the chat. So yeah, we have several uh, keys for the game. Oh yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I, I forgot. Think, I, think, I think it's 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 about time that we that we drop one. So if May you already I? have a game. Uh, Take it to uh, give it to a friend, uh, so you have, you know, the more the merrier. If you don't have the game, uh, just activate it and start downloading and uh, jump in. So, could 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 I get a key? I'd love to play this game. I, yeah. I'd love. To, I'd, uh, yeah, I want to. I'm you know. not sure. I'm not sure we're gonna have to discuss this. <laughs> <laughs> just a quick one. How many keys do you have? How many keys are you giving out today? Seven. Seven. Yeah. We got seven keys to give away today, ladies and gents, on the stream. So if you have any friends who don't, because you won't be able to take that key for your friend, when it gets dropped into the chat, it will go like wildfire. Literally will not be able to grab it. Um, so thank you very much. So there's a lot of keys going out from uh, courtesy of Game Pies themselves. So if you want to get some friends on, or if you want to try and get the key, then get them in. Okay. Make sure they've got Steam open as well. Okay, well, maybe we should wait for the people to get the, their Steam see, open. See, <laughs> see if they... Um... <laughs> I'll just, I want to I wanna ask Mr. Minoza something, and I know it's going yeah. away from audio, just for, just, just for a few minutes. So Mr. Minoza works on the 3D artwork. Yeah. And is that everything from trees to guns to everything? Or, like, what, do, what does he do? Uh... I think he handled out the vehicles. Vehicles. Vehicles mostly. What about and, future uh, monsters? And the guns. And the guns. Yeah, and the he's, guns. He's, he's the gun, gun master. He's like specialized for it. Right. Okay. Please tell us he's not working on a rocket launcher. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I think I want to leave it to him to. Uh, no! Chat. <laughs> <laughs> Does he work uh, on the monsters, like new threats and stuff like that? No, oh, those are character artists. Character artists. Yeah, uh, they're they're a bit further. So, on, only the cool guys are sitting here in this part of the room. Well, that's why we're all here because we're cool. <laughs> that's okay. right. Repair your copy paste machines. So, three, two, one. Here we go. There we go, ladies and gents. We have a key in the chat. Go help yourself. Um, the game currently in the UK is around twenty-three pound. So he has, uh, so Ratko's given away seven, um, seven keys. So I'm going to say there's probably around, what, 160 odd pounds 
worth of scum game keys getting given away today. I could have get that to the black market or somewhere. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll give them to you. I'll take one for a fiver. Game of Beast, the cool guys are in the quality assurance corner, a.k.a. the testers. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe the loudest ones. <laughs> I love that. I think that's brilliant. It's great, it's great to see such a, an awesome team that have such a laugh and, you know, are just down to earth and... You know, they want to make a great product at the end of the day uh, for the consumers, which is us, um, to play. But I think I, I think this game will go places. And with everything that's been leaked by Tommy Slav and other things that we've been seeing, the, the longer this game's going, the more this game's getting out there as well. You know? And it's, it's all going to be majorly worth it by 1.0 because it's going to be huge. Because you got people screaming out for their own servers, you got people screaming out for making mods for the game already, um, and stuff like that. So there's going to be loads of stuff after 1.0, and I think it was Tommy Slev saying even after 1.0, for another two years the game will be worked on, um, and I think after that it will probably be going to console at some point. Um, from what we've been told, even Lever told us that. Lever told us that. Um, yeah, but you know, entering the 1.0 version, it doesn't mean that it's game over, you know. That's it. W why not to put something more in the game? So what, what does that mean? After 1.0, what would, what, would, what would we see after that? What, what oh, would... man, that's, that's a long way to go. So I, I'm actually not thinking about 1.0. Yeah, so right you're talking now. about, like, possible expansions or, or you know, yes, but, but stuff still, like that? Yeah. No, no, I just, I just want to say that uh, uh, entering... Uh, a 1.0 version is not um, uh, it's not that okay this is the game we don't work on it anymore it's over you know it's not over it's, it doesn't have to be you know and mm -hmm. I, I really believe that uh, um, even after entering 1.0 version we'll have more ideas to get in the game and and, and still do 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 our thing you know yep would, yeah, would, <laughs> just just while just while you are here I think this is a great idea because um, we'll go on to the audio for the Sploders in a minute, just very quickly, mm -hmm. because I think some people want to know where the, where the Exploders uh, sound comes from. Mm -hmm. um, so just very quickly, there was something that I read the other day, and everyone always comes up with, like, people in the community come up with great ideas for this game, right? Mm -hmm. So, obviously, the new base building's coming in soon, which we've mm -hmm. seen, which was leaked by Tommy on Twitter. You guys know Tommy, as you got him on Twitter, hopefully. Um, he leaks stuff a couple of times a day. He's creating a lot of hype even to the point where I'm making videos on some of these leaks and people are <laughs> and people are loving it because the majority of people don't the majority of people are not on Twitter 90% of people are not on Twitter who watch YouTube they don't have a Twitter account yeah. um, so obviously I, I put it over onto YouTube make a video and then show everyone basically what's been leaked um, but with the way the bases are he was saying something about getting C4 right Mm -hmm. And someone come up with an amazing idea saying, if you want to blow these bases up with C4, why don't you... The only way to get C4 is to kill a Sploder puppet without exploding it. That's a great idea. I, See would, what, I would go for it. Yeah. Because, because, because I, know, I know the other one was like, you know, you could get a mech, kill a mech and get C4. But if you can kill a Sploder puppet and then... Wherever it is, obviously it's going to be in a dangerous area, but if you can loot that, get the C4 parts off that, but that's the challenge. You've got to try and kill a, an exploder puppet without blowing it up. Yeah. Um, which could be quite a challenge when people get a bit scared and then they just blow it up anyway. Um, I don't know. It's just... Yeah, um, I, I actually, I actually you know. like, the, like, I like the idea. I mean, it would give them, give them more reason to be here, you know, and... Uh, yeah. I'm, because I'm all up for it. Because <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you could pass that on, but it was just an idea I read, and I literally was like, that's a good idea. That's not a bad idea at all. No, that's that's a no, pretty decent no, idea. Not, not, not a bad idea at all. I'm sure that the team is going to sit down and and discuss, you know, and, and actually see if there are any other uh, other options, you know. But oh, still, of course. I, I, yeah. think, I think they're, they're going to take it into consideration, you know, seriously. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, while we were on the suicide puppets, 
there's also yeah, new thing com- there's also new thing coming uh, they're gonna get their own voices what like separate separate voices than other puppets so basically you're gonna hear them from far away yeah and uh, I was thinking to m- making them like uh, having like really hysterical laugh so they're gonna be like <laughs> completely no uh, i was about wh- to laugh that it was gonna sound so wrong <laughs> yeah yeah so, so they're gonna be like wacko but still you, you're gonna hear them afar and uh, you know how you'll approach the area yeah you know? some somehow the, the, they will communicate with you that they are there you know mm-hmm. because they're not going out out from, out from from the game i know some people don't like them uh I don't like them when there's three of them. <laughs> and on every exit, I find the exploding puppet, and then I just say, uh, no. Do you know what, though? The great thing is, the great thing is, and a lot of people don't realize this, and I was showing this um, in my... I've got a new Absolute Beginner's Guide for Scum, and something happened when I got to the Navy Yard. There was a exploder puppet there, and it was perfect timing because nothing in that, in, nothing in that series is planned other than gameplay and then I give away tips. But the exploder started to chase me. And the thing I realized at that point, which I didn't really realize before, is that they do give you a chance. If you run, they will stop intermittently from time to time to give you that yeah. chance to get away. And, you know, if you can get away from them, great. If you can kill them, even better. But you've got a couple of chances because you're going to run out of stamina eventually as well. Mm. Um, which is... a. a, a how did you do the sound for the vo- the breathing? Was that you? Uh, yes. Oh, that was. Uh, well, that was easy. That give that that that. <sighs> but still, um, it, it it wasn't easy because you need to breathe really loud. Yeah. And that's not natural, you know. <laughs> that gives me anxiety. That sound. It gives yeah. me anxiety when I hear it. It's like you know when you watch something on TV and someone's underwater, mm-hmm. and you feel like you can't breathe. Yeah, I, I get yeah. that when I hear the when I hear the character breathing, it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a great thing because obviously we know that he needs oxygen, so you kind of yeah. stop, recuperate everything, um, and and stuff like that as well. Um, guys, just just a quick one. Everyone in the chat, if you've got any questions you want me to ask, just put at rake it so I can actually see it in the chat as well. And um, uh, Ratko's got the chat open as well, so he can see what's going on with the chat. Uh, Minoza, feel free to use suggestion channel or drop me a DM. Like it. See, if anyone's got suggestions to make the game better in any way or whatever, you know, you can always contact the devs. They've got, they, they do have their Reddit. They've got their Steam forum, which is read by the devs every day, um, which I think is probably more popular than Reddit because, I don't know, Reddit seems to be quite quiet sometimes, but... I'm guessing that will grow again in the future, but it has gone a little bit quiet recently. Um, I probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> now I sound uh, like a dick. Okay, I see, I see one question, uh, like uh, about puppet footsteps, that they sound like the human footsteps and uh, does startle people, you know, but that's the point, you know, you don't know if there's a puppet outside or is it a human. That's true. That is, I mean, yeah, I, I yeah. really don't want. I really don't want to make different puppet uh, footsteps just for the sake of it. You know, uh, I mean, we can. Uh, you can actually. Know, you know that there's a threat, so it can be human or it can be puppet. I mean, you, you're gonna you're gonna hear puppet. He's gonna scream. You know? That's actually Beda, one of uh, our yeah. community manager, the the male puppet. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He's usually the loudest one in the office, so I picked him for a voice actor. Uh, but when you put microphone, you know, in front of him, then he goes super quiet. <laughs> puppets. There are puppets. Someone said in the chat there, puppets do need a red beanie. I'm just kidding, by the way. That was a complete plug. Uh, I wait, was just, me, I was completely let me, joking. Let, let me write it down. No, I was joking. <laughs> it was a joke. Write it down. I find out where you live. Uh, no, joke. I'm kidding. Yeah. Um. Uh, also, also, also about uh, music in third person car driving. Yeah. Yes, you can hear now the music in third person driving because the window is open yep yeah i get that yeah i I got another question here someone said Mm -hmm. uh what other survival game are you inspired by you don't have to say the survival game but is there a a game out there that you are inspired by i mean everyone's inspired i mean inspired it's not that there's only one game i mean um uh 
even if it's survival. For example, the focus mode and what it does to audio. I was. I love that. Yeah, but I was. Uh, you know where I got the ide idea from? Right. Witcher sense. Witcher. Yeah. So it's, when you go into like a focus mode, it, it... yeah, it, in 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 Witcher game, like in Witcher three, if you go gone into focus mode, you would, uh, it would point out like enemies, and I was thinking about how can I put this into multiplayer survival in audio in an audio yes. format. Yes. Uh, so I mean, it, it's it's not it's not actually the audio as a sound. It's more like a functionality. So I have to um, modulate all other sounds. It's not that it makes any sound. You know. Yep. No, completely. It's, yeah, it's, I got it's, you. It's, it's, it's just the feature. It's just the functionality that uh, uh, brings in somehow, um, you know, an another dimension of gameplay. But that's very know? intuitive, though. That's 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 very yes. unique for someone to, to turn around and say, hey, I want to turn a visual feature into an audio feature. Yes. That's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah, and what, that's probably really point? hard to do, but you've done it. Well, it actually wasn't. Don't tell him that. Say no, it was really I mean, difficult, and I mean, it was the turning point I, I, I of your lie. career. I'm, re I'm really, I'm really, really <laughs> bad, at, bad at lying. So uh, <laughs> that's probably I why should, we get I on should, so much. Then. That, that, you, you sound <laughs> sus to me. You sound very sus. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I mean, uh, it wasn't. I mean, it, it was easy. It really took. Uh, it didn't took a lot of time to technically do it. You know. But yeah. thinking about it and what should it do, it was different. Because um, right now, how the focus mode works, it's, it's linked to awareness skill. And um, uh, somebody. If you expect... talk about it, I'll, I'll, I'll show them you talk about it. So I'll, I'll show them the focus mode. Uh, uh, you can actually maybe put some rain. <laughs> that's going right. to show a bit more. Uh, right. yeah. uh, so basically, the, the one thing was um, uh, when we, we, we were talking about focus mode. Uh, Something that you would expect would be, I could hear, uh, uh, you know, uh, everything's going to be louder and the range of the sound is going to be bigger if I enter mm -hmm. focus mode. This is not a, uh, this is not the case here. So you every every time you hear the sound, wait, let me just go around and so people can hear. A bit so more. I'm not I'm not in right. I'm in focus mode now. So. So what focus mode does, guys, is when you go into focus mode, it turns down all ambient sounds, right? Uh, yes, and slightly uh, turns up sound, only sounds that can be a potential threat for you. And turns up sounds that can be a potential threat. Yes, because this is actually based on um, um, one psychoacoustic uh, phenomenon that's called uh, auditory masking. So basically, if you have a lot of sounds that are in the same frequency range, if uh, they play in the same uh, same time, mm -hmm. you might not be able to distinct what that is. You know, and I can literally hear you walking right around me. I can hear you yes. walking right around me now. Yes, but some sometimes, you know, if if there's a, a like um, a sentry noise walking, you know, it would be uh, uh, an issue. This way, you just you don't remove a layer. You just tone it down, depending on aware, awareness skill. Right. And actually, this worked great. I really didn't want, uh, if you're in focus mode, that you're going to be able to hear me uh, at longer range. That's, um, breathe, I would say, breathing ground for um, uh, campers. You know? Yep. Everybody would just sit and wait. And uh, But also what I did is that I turn up even your noise. So you're not gonna run and be in focus mode because you're gonna hear yourself. So that auditory uh, masking is gonna work uh, on your sounds. Mm -hmm. You, if you if you're gonna use it, you're gonna run. Then you're gonna stop, and go to focus mode, be silent and listen to environment. So you should be more tactical with sound, not just you know brainlessly running with uh, focus mode on. Mm -hmm. Even though if you're running and you're holding focus mode, it drains stamina uh, faster. So. Wait, holding focus mode drains stamina? Only if you're running. Only if you're running. It's, it's, uh, it's draining faster. So. Right. If you're uh, just sitting or standing, it's not going to do a thing. But if you uh, 
if you jog or run, you're going to be uh, losing stamina faster in focus mode. Right, okay. That's interesting because I won't use focus mode while I'm running anymore. Because yeah. the, uh, the stamina think... can be pretty annoying as it is. <laughs> like if you're running, you just run it out. It's horrible. Um, let me just light this fire. Because I'm all moist now. There we go. So it's going to dry off here. How do I taste? Uh, I don't know. I can chop you up. <laughs> Run! <laughs> no, but it's no, it, but it is interesting to 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 hear this. What, what um? You were saying to me earlier when you got lost in the woods when recording. Yes, actually, the, I was recording footsteps for um, forest areas because it was uh, uh, it was fall and there was a lot of leaves on the ground. So so I wanted Should we walk to over advantage. here? Oh, where'd you go? Uh, no, I'm here. Oh no, sorry, I looked behind me, and and obviously and we're not we're, we're not, not squatted. squatted. Yeah, okay. yeah. So basically, I was in in uh, uh, I was with my wife and my two dogs uh, in uh, uh, in one forest here nearby. It was it's called Dotrchina. Uh, so we just took separate ways. I took my microphones and went deep into uh, deeper into the forest, and they were on, uh, staying on the track. Mm -hmm. So I was trying to get away from all the um, uh, loud uh, barking of the dogs or people or, or anything. So I got so deep in the woods that I just stood there and I turned around. And I was like, um, okay, <laughs> this is not fun anymore. <laughs> uh, but I managed to find the south and I just went south. So you went right into the woods yeah. to get that out. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I need to have really quiet environment, you know. Mm -hmm. Especially, especially if the dogs bark. If I record that, I, I'm not gonna be able um, to 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 do it to, to clean it up, you know. Yeah. As as much as I if I would have. Uh... Did you get the, the 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 audio for the fire at the same time as well? Uh, no, this fire is uh, my grill from uh, the house on coast. My parents have. So. Oh really? Yeah. Because <laughs> I yeah, was I, I, I was looking um I was looking on something on Twitter where you guys got the um the inspiration for the navy base and it was on the oh. island of Bretch, right? Yes. And is that act that's not actually a navy base in real life, is it or? Um, actually, I'm not sure. Because <laughs> it looks like you can fit a submarine in there. Uh, I think, no, there, there is a base like that. You can fit a submarine. I mean, it was, uh, just a sec. Fine. Uh, yeah, I'll have to, I have to Google. I really, really don't have a lot of information on this, on, on this thing. But yeah, it's, um, um, it's based on a real, uh, like, real place. Yeah, because I did say that. Same, same, same as the airport on the, uh, in the north at Shedava. So it's the real thing. <laughs> there are some locations that I do see, and I'm like, well, like, because it's... I don't think there's been any game out there that's really been based on Croatian sort of geographical locations or inspired by, um, you know, but when you go to these sort of places, like, I went to... I went to, to Greece a few weeks ago, right? Mm -hmm. And I was seeing olive trees, mm -hmm. and I was seeing aloe vera everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, I mean, it's, a, and it really it's... gave me a, a sensation of the the environment on the south yeah, part I mean, of the island. It's it's, it's it's the Mediterranean climate, you know. Yeah, we we have it in Croatia as well. <laughs> But it was it was it was really nice to sort of see that and kind of get a bit of get in the zone sort of for that sort of thing. You, know, um, you, should, you should maybe think about having a like vacation here in Croatia. You know, I know pretty good islands where we can drop you and leave you to survive. You know? <laughs> just give me a camera and I'll do that. I'll live on aloe vera. I'll just rub myself in aloe vera. Just shower myself in it. That'd be hilarious. Uh, but yeah. I'll be coming. I'll be coming over next year anyway. Nice. I mean, it's it's sure that we're gonna meet up. Yeah, I'll be coming over next year. My my fiance is going there twice next year, so she's gonna go there with me, and then she's got to go there with the girls for whatever reason. I can't remember. Um, 
or work maybe. I don't know. I can't remember why she's got to go there, but she's got to go to Croatia for something. So I went, right, that's the opportunity I'm going to take to go meet these awesome dudes and dudettes um, and uh, hound them and uh, get them to put in dragons into the game. <laughs> So we've got dragons around yeah. the mountains. I, I, I can make the sound right now. Like, that, that, can you can you can you imagine? Can you can can you imagine if a dragon sounded like that? Yeah, I mean it would be hilarious, but I wouldn't get him seriously. Mate, we've got to go disco. Lever said he'd take us out, and Tommy, they were like, "We'll take you to like a disco um, and places like that." Yeah, I'm actually playing too. Tomorrow in one club here in Zagreb. I'm a DJ as well, so. Oh, you're a DJ? Yeah. I've been DJ for like almost 20 years. And, and then I, I then I got into uh, game audio. And you haven't had a lot of time to DJ now. Yeah, there, there, there goes my, my career as a musician. I mean, I, it's not that I was that successful as a DJ. No. I, was, I was having some gigs here. I was, I was making some music. It was cool, but... Yeah, I just didn't. Um, Do you have like a place to listen to your music? Do you have you got like a SoundCloud or anything like that? Or uh, actually, I had until a few months ago that somebody hacked my SoundCloud. So. No. Good game. Oh. Oh, but it's, it's, it's still a good thing for some new starts, you know? <laughs> new beginnings. Yeah. Oh, that's a shame, man. Yeah. Uh, Lou, Lou, more. The dragons aren't coming to the game. It, it's a joke. <laughs> Dragons are not coming to scum, dude. It's a complete joke. I was kidding. This isn't... This isn't... Um, what's that game? Big open world game. Skyrim. Yeah. Yeah. Or, or, what, or what if they had dragons and then they had your head on the end of the dragon? And then you were just like... And then you were just like... Kaka! Kaka! Yeah, yeah, but, but, but really small dragons that goes kaka. <laughs> tiny, tiny dragons. Yeah, they may, maybe when, when they say kaka, that means that you need to poo, you know, or something. <laughs> <laughs> or everyone just shits themselves straight away. <laughs> flying cows, no flying cows. Uh, right, no, does no. anybody have any other questions? There's a couple of more things I want to go through, but is, has, anyone, has anyone got any, any other questions? We were going to keep this down to two hours because um, Ratko's has had a very long day. And everyone's left it. Well, most people have left the office now, and it's just him. And you probably have. It's me uh, and Mr. Smiles. And Mr. <laughs> Mr. Wait, where did Mr. Minoza go? Uh, maybe he's here. No, I mean he he has been at home before. Wait, maybe, I thought you were sitting next to you. No, no, he's his place usually is here. So. Oh, he's. I thought you no, said no, he was he's, actually he's with in, you. No, no, no. He's he, uh, actually uh, uh, usually when he's in the office, he's, he sits next to me. So. So we've got a we've got a load of other locations coming, right? Uh, probably. <laughs> so so we've got more locations. Is there anything that the other developers um, have asked you to do that has been no. like interesting? Nothing. No. no, nothing yet. Because I mean I don't know. I'm just speculating. There might be radioactive areas in the future. I don't know. I'm just guessing there. That's not a fact. But yeah, I was, but I was, you know, I'm, I'm completely honest with you. No, no, completely. Yeah, no, no, yes. I've got you. Yes. Um, yes. No, no, nobody yet uh, came in, but uh, I expect them to to come in soon. So I don't think there's going to be some drastic changes, but but we'll see. Do you know anything about the new engine? Someone's asking, will the new engine fix collision? What? The new? But the new uh, 4.25 engine. Okay. Will that fix anything like collision? Because I know Tommy Slav said it's always been a bit of an issue. Like, um, I'm guessing collision is like maybe zombies running through walls or something like that. But uh, It's a uh, really uh, wrong address. <laughs> right. Yeah. That, for, for we'll, leave, we'll leave that uh, when we when we come back to Tommy Slav or Lever. Yes. Um, I, I'd, I, I'd, I, think, I think Lever is the better person for, for this technical think so i would like to do a q a with lever at some point um oh, well drop him a message <laughs> i'll be like lever you'll be like mate i ain't sitting on skype trying to fix this shit for an hour yeah that and, would be and, funny though and you know he's gonna get uh, one of these big boys just so he can sound better yeah <laughs> um void dweller 
Uh, Flick Flack, he did, he did, what, what's the name of your microphone again? I'm just going through these questions quickly. It's Marantz, Marantz, or it's Golf. It's actually, Audio. oh, check. Ugh. I have the... Because that is like the meanest, most badass mic I've ever seen. It's actually, uh, you know who's... Audioscope like SG-17P. It's, it's, it's actually Damien's, uh, uh, so the, oh, the audio guy from Crow Team. It's his. Oh, really? <laughs> So that's the microphone there. Uh, Void Dweller said, oh no, Zero Foxtrot. I asked about waterproof jacket sounds and masking by wearing a jacket over them. So what if you so if you put a jacket over a waterproof jacket, will it take away the sounds of the waterproof jacket? Uh, sorry, say again. I, I did I I didn't know that they had their own sounds. No, um, uh, I think they don't. I know what he's saying though. I know zero. If you could just elaborate on that, mate. Um, Void Dweller says, "Devs, do the devs have any plans for vanity items for your base? The radio, for example, is one of my favourite items to take home." So what, mm. what what do you mean by that? What what sort of yeah. other vanity items that make sound? Because otherwise, an I, an item like I know in future they said they're going to bring like possibly like fridges. You're going to have electric like generators and stuff like that. They're all going to have their own sounds. Yes, of course. If, <coughs> if it can make sound, if it works, yes, it, it will have it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Um, Pepe. Oh, wait, I've lost the comment now. Pepe, when do you think the game is going to finish the early access game? Oh, I don't know. That's... It, it's, it finish, it's not finished, but it will get to that stage when it gets to that stage, I'm guessing. There is no... I guess there is no deadline for it to be finished, because things happen in between. Um... But yeah, uh, it will take it will take time to to get to to that point. Um, um, actually, I see now. Uh, Foxtrot asked for the water, waterproofs have a rubbing sound or squeak when they get wet. Actually, they don't. They don't. <laughs> I, I mean, I didn't implement it. <laughs> oh, zero not, placebo, at, mate. Yeah, at, at least not yet. But that may be like. Um, uh, now you done situation, it. situation where you think you hear something, you know, <laughs> because yeah. it's so vivid. <laughs> sound for zombies. Sound for zombies when they're near doesn't sound like it should be. Uh, hi Ray, uh, hi Ratko. Yes, that's something. Uh, I mean, uh, even even the puppets, they're we're still iterating on them. So it's not that anything in the it's not that any sound in the game is final and if you said no this is good we don't uh, we don't do this anymore if we find that something needs to be changed it will it will be changed but there's a lot of stuff to go and would rather leave them right now as it is uh, because I don't think that this is an issue uh, with um, the recording or the voices but more like uh, how it behaves uh, how it propagates through the air so mm -hmm. uh, that's some that's something that I've been tweaking constantly and uh, as I said it's a process it's not something that comes during the you know one week it's it's a year you know but it's a year of, of just just uh, uh, um, adjusting all the sounds in the game because they need to uh, work together you know it's not like, like that one sound is uh, more important than, than, than the others it's a point of, of mixing so everything has to work together so and I've got a blend uh, in Blending and stuff, I'm guessing as well. Yes, yes, definitely. Kind of like how the cars work. Um, Jeff Ed 1977. Why does it sound like there is a plane flying overhead continuously when the weather is nice? I've only ever heard that in two and a half thousand hours. I've only ever heard that twice, and I think it's just an audio clip where you hear an aircraft flying over. But that would bring the realism to it, though. I think that yeah, would be great. I, I actually there is. Uh, it would be great if you find something that bothers you in the game. Um, we always have that replay setting on uh, at least NVIDIA's graphic cards. I always have replay to 30 seconds. Send us a clip, we can see what it is, you know. It's basically the same for the, for the bug reports. If you can yep. record it, it's, it's the biggest, uh, biggest help we can get. Well, so we can see the bug happening, you know. Yeah. No, completely. Um, going to puppets just for a minute and talking about like 
you know, and I said this a long time ago, like, the second that I showed people in the video, like, and you can see the comments, like, in some of these leaks that I put out from Tommy's, uh, Tommy's Twitter and stuff like that, and I make a video out of it, um, the amount of comments that I actually get on there where people are saying, I am absolutely loving the way the ambience is on its, you know, where it, the ambience is going with the game. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm not going to pull it up onto the stream, but I'm actually going to pull up um, some of the comments that some people have said on there. Because from what I'm gathering, people want to be scared, right? Yes. They, they, they want to be terrified. Now, these little leaks that I put out, and I said, I said to, um, you know, I said, to, I think I did say to Tommy to come and check some of these comments out. Um, but there's so, some of the comments here. Someone said, Fog's interesting, looks creepy with the Zeds running at you. Um, hold on. Damn YouTube adverts. Uh, I like the lighting indoors and the fog. One co major component of zombie movies that makes my skin crawl is the lighting and the desolate feel. And that hits it right on the head. I cannot wait. You know? So people kind of love that dark, eerie, sort of scary mm -hmm. feeling. Would would there be anything that you would be working alongside with? Yes. Um, like the, you know, the artists and stuff like that for maybe something a little bit creepier? Um, uh, we definitely had discussions about that. Uh, right. Already, uh, right now, we need to see how, in which direction we will go. So, yes, uh, we are all up for making... making uh, the the game feel like more threatening you know yes completely but still but still i wouldn't um make it that it's it sounds threatening all the time you know there are maybe some people who um just enjoy that uh, this is um it, it, they enjoy that it's more like a uh, their happy place that's mm -hmm. okay but still we need to find a way how we can implement both so, I mean, we have a whole day and night cycle, you know, and we can get both of the feelings in the game. Yep. But, but we need to see <clears throat> how we're going to do it. And that was, uh, just going back to what that guy was saying before, I found the comment, by the way, and it was actually on my video, and he says, I bet you'll have to get C4 from headshotting a suicide puppet to prevent it from exploding. At least I hope they implement that mechanic, that would be cool. Um, and obviously we spoke, mm -hmm. we did speak about that yeah. as that, that could be a pretty cool idea. Um, someone's like looking forward to all the RTX stuff, but the, most of the comments that I'm seeing on this video, and it's the first look new bases, map expansion plus more, um, and I'll put a picture up of the map expansion in a sec guys, which I think is just a little teaser, a leak so to speak, so I'll whack it on the stream in just a sec. Um, but... One thing that a lot of people have asked for, and even with some of us who play it, we've got two and a half, three thousand hours in the game, there's something that people really would love to see to make it super freaking creepy. And I think it would almost be like a dream come true to kind of have that in the game. Obviously, like when you're walking through the forest, I know we've got the wolves coming up, which is, is going to be a major threat and stuff like that as well. But what about some kind of yeti? Hey, dude, man, thank you. Yeti. And I know that and I know this sounds crazy, but the amount of people that have asked for some um, wandering yeti that wanders the forests as an extra threat. You know, you could be trying to build a base and a yeti, you know, you have to run away from the yeti before he moves off somewhere else. You don't have to kill him, you could just try and try and run away from him. But to have that threat while you're out in the sticks, then that way Obviously, the more threats you have in the game, the more players will eventually start working together because they're gonna because then they don't see each other as the biggest threat. You're eventually gonna have the enemies. But yes, I, I mean I'm, I'm know, always up. I, I'm always up for the for the more threats. You know. It's, amen it, to that. It, amen the, to that. It's it's mostly focused to the PVE people and um, maybe it may be a bit. I don't know, maybe annoying for for the people who are more into PvP, 
but still, uh, yes, I'm I'm all up for this, and I'm both PvP and PvE player. So yeah, I like I, mean, I, I like PvE and PvP. Yeah, it's 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 fun. I mean, it can happen, especially with uh, I, I don't know a bear. You know, if I shoot mm -hmm. at somebody and I got smacked by a bear, you know, that, that's something that happens. And, <laughs> you know, it, it can happen. So I mean, dude, that out. would. That would be that would be so freaking huge for the game. Like this, like, a lot I said to Tommy, uh, and I said this to him off the stream. We wasn't even on the stream, but I said this off the stream. I said, I said to him, dude, I've been shooting zombies for two years. Give me something else to kill. <laughs> like you know, us. And, and the thing is, we love the game. It's got such a great community and player base. But I said, please, Tom, just give us something else to shoot other than fucking zombies. And, um, you know, they said, he said he was, they were working on some other things. But to have those extra threats makes the game more, not just unique, because any game can put threats in and be unique, but it makes this game a lot different to play, and especially with night time, and you hear something coming towards you, and you can hear that feet stomping towards you and stuff like that. That is going to be creepy as hell. And one yeah. thing that I've learned with these open world games... And I know this isn't like a zombie apocalypse, so to speak. But everyone wants to be scared shitless. Everyone yes. wants, you know, so if I'm standing here, if we're standing here in the woods right now, we could have had something walk up to us by now. Or at least, at least we could have seen something over there in the trees, walk up from A to B. And if it saw us, it would have come charging at us or something and tried to kill us. You know, a real yeah. freaking threat that would make you shit your pants. You know? yeah, yeah. No, uh, that would be, I mean, that would be great to see. Uh, expanding on PvE elements, definitely. Of course, but, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I know, I know the guys, uh, the guys in the team, they have, they have their priorities right now. And I think they're just doing, the, at the moment, they're doing, doing their, their best. So mm -hmm. it would be, I mean, yes, there always is a way to, to do it faster, but we are steadily um, uh, trying to find like more people, uh, especially programmers, to uh, to jump in and uh, actively work on the new features. So I I really hope that uh, soon we're going to be able to even more speed up the, the development process. So so we can put out a bit more uh, more features in less time. So. Yeah. Uh, li li little name, by the way, when I said Yeti, I meant like a Tech 1 biological, um, biomechanical threat. That's what I mean. I didn't mean like a, a literal Bigfoot Yeti, but some I, I creature thought, that I, I walks, you know. I actually thought about, about Bigfoot. It was like, imagine Bigfoot coming at you. Like something that, <laughs> so, so, something that, you know, because when people go up into the mountains, they're like, oh. All we got to watch out for is bears, yeah. you know, or a boar that might knock you over. But something where you really could walk into some serious trouble, um, and it really becomes a threat, and it's dangerous to obviously yourself and stuff like that. Um, but just moving on to uh, to animals very quickly. Someone uh, just said, um, "Hold on, where was it? I did just save the comment. Let me just... No, I lost it. Hold on, wait. Where is it? It's up there. Yes, here we go. So Mad Max says because uh, there's a lot of people who love hunting in the game now there's a couple of games that i know that do it very very well uh, and he says will we have more animals and their sounds added for the environment for example deer and bears calling out in the distance um rabbits moving in the grass etc would add loads of atmosphere well the rabbits you do hear rabbits anyway yes. i've i've heard the rabbits and i've heard uh, the chickens they don't they don't vocalize but they run and you can hear them you can hear them but the animals, would you be able to hear like a deer calling? Because, yes. um, and would you be able to have like multiple deers walking together as if they're like grazing? Like, um, well, de definitely in the future, yes. Because right now, uh, okay, I mean, with the, with the sound effect uh, about the deer, uh, it's got some snort sounds. Yes, I've heard so, that. So Yes, but yep. um, a lot of people said that's not realistic. Actually, yes, it is. Uh, basically, the buck would uh, vocalize that way if there is some threat close to him. See, I didn't know that. Yes. I, I, mean, I mean, I'm not a hunter or anything, so yes. I don't, yes, I don't I, know. Yes, I, I, I did my research, 
and I really wanted to put that sample in. Right. And uh, a lot of people were triggered. Oh, this is not how Bach sounds. Like, yes. And then I show them a, a video, like Bach in the nature, that's vocalizing that way. So yeah. But still, let's uh, let's go back. The question was, uh, uh, should we be able to see packs of animals like walking together, or? Yeah, like um, like packs. Like you might have a mother and a and, and a child, so to speak. Oh. You know, like like that sort of um, that um, sort of. Well, yes, I would love to see that, but that that goes to the other side of the office. Of course, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's, not, it's not something I, I can help with except testing. You know. <laughs> can I just say very quickly, Gregory Evil? Thanks for the sponsor, mate. Welcome to the army. Rank will be momentarily. Thank mm. you very much, dude. Much appreciated. Let me drop one more key. How many of you? How many of you? How many you got left? One. You've only got he one got, left. He, no, he goes the second. I have five more. <laughs> Wait, you've only put you've only put two out. Yes. Yeah. This is the second one. Yeah, uh, we can do one more immediately. Are you guys ready? Two keys being yeah. dropped in the chat, ladies and gents. Make so, sure to snap it up. Hunt it up. Love you, Acid. Thank you very much for the donation, mate. Cheers, dude. Just showing sport, gotta go, right? No worries, brother. Look after yourself and all the best. You know what I'm talking about, mate. Thank you. Uh, Appreciate that very much. Uh, give us bats, Valco. Guys, we've got two keys in the chat there. Make sure to grab them. If you do grab them, can you at rake it me and tell me that you got them keys? That'll be awesome to see who got them. I'd love to give you a little shout out. Yeah, also with the. Uh uh, the musical instruments that we have, so banjo, harmonica, and uh, and the guitar. There's mm -hmm. a little secret that you can do, and that a lot of people know about it, is um, you can route MIDI signal to it, so you don't have to play it yourself. I actually have software like Ableton, and one small soft software called Loop B1 that um, uh, routes MIDI output to uh, to the game. If we were on Twitch now. I would play with song, but right here, if I do it, you're gonna get copyright claimed. <laughs> no, of course. No, yeah, yeah, no, I, I got you. Yeah. No, so th that was supposed to be my grand finale, and uh. <laughs> <laughs> still, because yeah, I'm not. I, I I can't play any instrument. I mean, um, I can improvise on an instrument, but I can't play. It can, can you play? Can Can you improvise on guitar? No, uh, I can improvise on uh, like keyboard, but um, I don't know if uh, if you tell me, uh, well, sit and play me some song, I wouldn't know. I w I could only improvise it, not just play the right notes. I've I've been copyrighted a few times playing guitar on stream. <laughs> I have I have I'm not even kidding you. All I did is play the first few notes of Sweet Child of Mine on guitar. Then after mm -hmm. the stream, I got copyrighted for for Sweet Child of Mine. Yes, yes. It's nuts. I I, tr I tried just for fun playing November Rain of Guns N' Roses. Oh, you you uh, you a Guns N' Roses not, fan? Uh, well, I like them. I mean, I like Queen as well. I mean, I like a lot of music. So, but this was something you know fun to do. Talking um, to Queen, bicycles. No, I'm joking. I'm kidding. I'm I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I, I basically tried to play it, and it was MIDI played with in-game instruments. So it wasn't that good. It wasn't. But no, they caught it like <laughs> like this. I, I, I didn't even have a chance to upload mm -hmm. uh, the video. I was already copyright claimed. So. I hate the copyright claims. Um, yeah. I've, I've just had a friend message me on my phone. Um, and he wants me... I'm getting questions in the Discord, by the way, in the okay. stream. And I've got people messaging me on my phone. Um, this is how popular you are, Ratko. See, audio oh, is... Nice. Everyone that loves the audio <laughs> stuff. And they're very uh -huh. curious about where the audio is going and where it comes from. So uh, I've got a question. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I'm going to start with, how did you get the puking sounds? Uh, actually, I just put some uh, water inside my mouth and I uh, threw it out. Screw. Like, I was, I was voice acting. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah. let, 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 me, let me just spawn in. Uh, let me spawn in a load of MREs. I'm just gonna eat like two or three of them, and I should throw up. So, yes. then, so how did you do it? You got the water you, in your mouth. I had the water in my mouth. I have. A, uh, it wasn't just just the water, but I was trying to. Uh, it 
wasn't real puke. But I was just, just trying to have my um, uh, mouth uh, wet mm -hmm. while uh, while I try to uh, vocalize it. Uh, One thing that's missing here. Yeah. yeah but, but the last thing, you know, the last sound was like... That spitting. It, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just have to spit everything that's left. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, still, I love all this. Still, this is brilliant. But still, I have um, uh, a bug here that uh, I need a, um, a splatter on the floor. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's one thing I need to fix. <laughs> is there any? Is there any? Is there anything that you would have loved to, that you would love to bring into the game? That's a unique feature. Um, kind of like the the Witcher thing you were saying, putting something visually into audio. Is well, is there something you would love to see? In the game. Well, the biggest, I mean, the biggest improvement that I really want to see is the propagation. This is my top priority. It's the worst, I mean, it's it's the hardest thing to do at this point. So you're standing behind a wall, different sounds, sound yes. waves bouncing off of objects yes. and so, so elevated items as well. Uh, um, simulation of sound as wave. I would love to do that. Simula but yeah, I've right, got you. Yeah. Right now, it's it's not it's not it's not possible yet. So, I mean, we found a way to uh, resolve a lot of issues, and this is just one of it. So, that, that's that's um, that's basically one thing. And yeah, I, I would like to. I already prepared some design for the bicycles. I would really like to have a bicycle. I'm looking forward to the bicycles, yeah. but but the problem is, is like bicycles are going to be everywhere. Everyone's. Yeah. You're just going to find bikes everywhere. You wouldn't have to walk around anymore. But yeah. you've got to make it hard to sort of make a bike, you know, because you've still got that challenge for survival and stuff like that. Like, it's yes. very it's, it's very difficult at the moment because on some of the comments I was getting on my video there that I just read from, um, you obviously get co comments from, from the for and against, you know, people that want to mm -hmm. see stuff implemented, yeah. see stuff fixed. So you've kind of got them two groups... But the, but the one thing is, like, some people are just saying, hey, look, you don't even need to eat or fucking drink in this game. They need to make it so, like, you know, you play a game like Daisu. If you don't drink or eat in 30 minutes, you're dead. And and I think that's a, a challenge that I think many people like. Yeah, it's not realistic. You can survive longer than a, a day without food or water. You're going to feel like shit. But for a game mechanic, it would definitely make people think more about surviving mm -hmm. rather than... Yeah, base rating or something, you know, or, or do it or doing whatever. Because at the end of the day, you've always got your PVE and your PVP aspects. But let's be real, ninety nine point nine percent of the game, you're doing PVE stuff. Hence why the PVE players are yeah. waiting for more PVE stuff. PVP players are quite simple to to look after. You just give them a gun and they just go and yeah. shoot stuff. Whereas the PVE players are the more complex uh, market to try and to try and look after because they're looking for more things to do more things to add to their base more buildable more buildables more modular crafting um, and stuff like that that's the sort of stuff that a lot of people are waiting for with the bases and and bits and bobs but i know i just went completely off the fly there um so i'm just trying to think is there anything else that anyone would like to um like to ask twist my birthday was brilliant thank you just felt like another day mm -hmm. felt like another day I was uh, I was 21 the other day, Retko. 21 years old. Yeah, I know. I uh, wished you uh, happy birthday. I did get it. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> I, I'm not actually 21 though. I wish I was though. Can, well, you, can you imagine? It? <laughs> well, uh, you're a good liar. So. <laughs> I, I am a freaking terrible liar. Have you played? You need to come play Among Us with us. Uh, Damn. Yeah. Oh, we play your mod. Yeah. I, I, I didn't play it yet. I, I, mean, I think it's really it's a pretty fun game, but it's so hard to find time, you know, to mm. play anything at this point. I, f I find it hard to play a lot. I find it hard to find a time to play games, you know? Yeah, yeah I just play just Scum. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I just play Scum, Among Us, Flight Sim, whatever other survival stuff's out there. Uh, okay, any let, chance? Uh, let me drop just two more keys in the chat. Guys, we've got another two keys being dropped. Make sure to grab them. Uh, now 3 p says, Rake it, any chance we'll hear some Slavic Eastern European music on Scum Radio anytime soon? Well, depends. If I find some uh, really good artists, then we can maybe record something. I actually, several times I, try, uh, I started to write a song, like I would rap on it. You know. 
know. Mm -hmm. that I would oh, you, you would rap on it. it. Yeah, but just, you know, because it sounds horrible if I'm singing or rapping, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a sec. Uh, two more keys incoming. One, two, rabbits. If you don't have the game, send it to somebody. Show them some love. Um, yeah, I'm, there you um, go, guys. Two keys actually, in the chat now. Actually, we have now. I was counting. There's some more new music coming on the radio. We have around 200 songs. Wow, 200. That's, yes, around two 200 songs right now mm -hmm. in the radio. Some, some old stuff are gonna go out. Yep. But yeah, I mean, I have like whole radio station. <laughs> <in the game. laughs> I do love some and, of the tunes on there. They're brilliant. Really yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I was really, really surprised, and I was actually pretty surprised how hard was it to get some some of those artists who are so ta talented, but yeah. uh, you just can't reach them. They're not not online. They don't have social. There, there's a guy. There's a guy who lives above me, and okay. apparently he's really big on Instagram, um, and he's a he's a DJ, mm -hmm. and he lives he lives at the top of my apartment block. He lives up okay. in the he, li he lives up in the penthouse, motherfucker. Like I want the penthouse. One day we'll have the penthouse army. We'll have that penthouse mm -hmm. at the top. <laughs> Stream outside in the summer. Um, but yeah, I've been meaning to talk to this guy, but I don't know. I haven't actually like managed. To, he walks his dog all the time, but I haven't actually like had the uh, the courage to say hello to him yet. Just in case he beats me up or something. Yeah. Um, he's, he's a DJ. No, mm. he's not a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing, you can do DJing from home, you can live stream DJing, you can go out and do yeah, DJing. Yeah, he, he, can, he can actually throw some of his equipment on you, but it's too expensive, you know? <laughs> oh, it is. Audio, audio equipment is a nightmare. Oh, yeah. Like, I was, I was looking at getting a mixer, but like a small, tiny mixer for my audio, but I'm running, it, I'm running my microphone straight into a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2, and this seems to be fine. Like, I... You know, you, you, you do hear some streamers, and especially yeah. on Twitch. This one. This and they're, one. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the one that I've got. That's exactly the same one I'm using. Yeah, yeah I mine's, got that. I got that. mine's I here got in the like corner. You can't see it, though. My lead's not long enough Wait, there because it's plugged in. I'll just, I'll just be, like, really careful so I don't plug myself up. Yeah, that's the same audio interface that I use, guys. It's like the perfect yeah. audio interface to plug and play. Um, yeah, I have I have the air mode on. So. Oh, you have air mode on. I haven't yeah. got it on. Hold on. There you go. I've got it on now. I should sound more airy. Or my mids, my mids and highs go up a little bit more, don't they? Yeah. Apparently, apparently they do. Um, so, I think that has been around two hours, and yeah. and I don't want to leave you anymore because guys, he has been up. How, how many hours have you been at work for now? Uh, well, now it's twelve hours. Uh, twelve and a half. Twelve, and I know how that feels. Twelve yeah. and a half hours he's been at, at work, guys, and he's come along to do a community Q and A. Um, like I was saying, these developers are truly, truly amazing for that reason, and for many other reasons as well. But going out their way to do this sort of stuff is, you know, really, really are grateful for that, Ratco. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank you um, for having thank thank you for having me so I can just you know throw my uh, skills here you know so No of course like a, this, like a rock star you know? <laughs> this, this this guy you're seeing here on the webcam guys is the guy you hear anything in scum he's the guy that puts that audio in he's the guy that sets the mics up to get every different sound in the game and that's the one guy that does it that's nuts mate that is fucking nuts um, so Ratko thank you very much for doing um, the Q&A today as, as we all know, Ratko Filipovic is the audio lead, um, and he has been with GamePies since the 18th of January 2018. So you was about nine months before the game went early access, so you probably had quite a tight schedule uh, oh, to, yes. to get everything oh, yes. up and running before it, was, it, was, I said it, it actually it was went. Hell, it, it was a hell of a ride, but when we saw what we did <laughs> after those nine months, I was really happy. So, so what I'm going to do, ladies and gents, you have uh, Ratko has a Twitter account. And uh, what I'm going to do after the stream, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get his uh, Twitter. Um, in fact, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do it now while you're on the, uh, while you're on the, on the stream okay. here. Okay. okay, while you're doing that, I'm going to drop two more keys to the chat. So. Oh, we got two more keys being yeah. dropped, ladies and gents. Two more. One. Thank you very much, mate. That's awesome. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to share your...
Twitter link. Um, copy link to profile. I think that's the one. Um, you can say Rale Ubojika. <laughs> Rale Rale Ubojika. I, I, I love how you pronounce Croatian names. Rale Ubojika. Rale Ubojika. Ah! <laughs> Guys, go follow Ratko there on his Twitter account. His uh, his actual profile says, Audio lead at Game Players, most famous for making pooping sounds in Scum Game. This guy is hilarious. I'd love to have a beer with you. I really would. Yeah. Um, and as always, you, you, you know. You poop oh. uh, sounds are coming in, so. <laughs> new, new pooping sounds are coming in, and they might be real. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, you, you're going to have to uh, evaluate that, you know. <laughs> we're, we're never going to know. We're never going to know. Oh, you will. <laughs> <laughs> we're, uh, okay. we're gonna, but um, so oh, we're it. we're gonna let Ratko go home now because he's been at work all day, guys. Thank you for being awesome on the stream. If you want to see any other thank dev Q and As, join the Scum Games streams. We're doing a private stream tonight, so if you haven't sponsored already, come and join the army. We're gonna be doing a private stream in the next few hours. I am gonna leave it there tonight because I was having audio issues and I want to get everything sorted ready for uh, the stream later on. So it's a bit of a short stream whenever we do these Q and As. But uh, Ratko, thank you very much, and um, you. I'll speak to you soon. Cool. Ciao. Stay safe, army. Much love. Thank you for uh, the support, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Take care.